We've discussed how to access the API using the GUI. We've discussed how to access the API through the Python SDK, the Python Software Development Kit. And now we're going to look at how to perform the same function, creating an S3 bucket through an API call through the PowerShell command line. If I go into my Amazon S3 console, you will see that I have just one bucket defined and the command I'm going to use forms part of the AWS tools for PowerShell. This is a toolkit you install in PowerShell. It is beyond this discussion. And once installed, you can have access to commandlets that you can invoke. In our case, we just want to create a bucket and we're going to call the new S3 bucket commandlet passing the name of the bucket and the region. As you can see, there are additional options which are mirrored in the GUI or are mirrored in the SDK. If we go to our code, we have two parameters defining the name and the region, and we're going to call new S3 bucket with these parameters and finally clean up. Once we call that, the commandlet gives us a prompt telling us that the bucket was successfully created. If we go to the management console of S3 and refresh, we will see that we have a new bucket in the Paris region. The purpose of our discussion today is to demonstrate how an API, in this particular case, the Amazon S3 create bucket, API call has presented itself in various forms, be it in the GUI, be it as part of a language SDK, or as part of the command line. The command line, unlike the other two, is the most efficient if one needs to document the actions that lead to an outcome. The reason being, it has the benefit of being text-based and therefore highly reproducible. There is no one to move a button about or change the text. And it is not bound to any development tool. The PowerShell environment is available on multiple platforms today. And so once installed, it can be invoked from there as well. And the AWS tools are available, therefore, on these environments.